Hey, it's Mel, how you doing? So uh, in this post, what I want to do is I want to share with you how to create a video, basically, using PowerPoint. Uh, and we're going to use PowerPoint 2010 for this. And I got to give uh, kudos where, uh, or I got to give props where it's due. A friend of mine, James Rufton, uh, was the one that actually turned me on to this. He wrote a blog post on HubSpot not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I thought it was fantastic. And I'll share the link with you underneath this video because I think it'll actually be a good quick steps summary point sheet for you. He wrote the blog post in text format, and I think that'll be a good one for you to go print out because it'll be a good summary sheet. Uh, however, what I want to do here is show you the steps on how to actually do that. So let's pretend here that I've got a um, PowerPoint. I've got my sample presentation going on here. So let's just click the title slide. To start a video, basically all we're going to do is you launch PowerPoint. And you have to be using at least PowerPoint 2010 for this. Go to Slideshow. And then under Slideshow, you would have this option to record your slideshow. There's a couple of options here, but basically we're going to select start recording from the beginning. All right. So now we'll go ahead and select that. You've got a couple of options here. I'll just default select both of those and then click start recording. At this point, basically, you are recording uh, everything that, uh, you know, your voice uh, is being captured, your mouse movements and so on. And there's also a little tip here in 2010 for PowerPoint where if you click push the control button on your keyboard at the same time you do the left mouse click, which can actually do is bring up this little laser dot button here. So I think that's a little uh, clever little uh, tip. So this would be a great tip for you, let's say if you have a series, um, you have a lot of knowledge in your head, and you think you're ready to actually start presenting some of these things, but maybe you don't want to go live with it yet. So you can actually script out your presentation, write it all out, and then do a presentation online because you'll, what, you know, you, what you'll probably find is many of you have a lot of knowledge in your head that you need to get out on paper that a lot of people might actually even pay for uh, because of, if you think about it, just decades of experience that you've had in the workforce. So now let's say we go to the next slide and I want to display the agenda. We're not going to make this presentation too long, but uh, so I want to go through the results of the survey, discuss implementation framework, and then there's some meeting objectives on a go, no go decision, right? And then let's go to the next slide and maybe we have a cool little um, pro a project presentation that shows where we are in this whole project life cycle. Okay, so now let's say the presentation is done at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push the escape button is what we want to push. So I'm pushing the escape button and now it drops us off. Now here's a couple of tips. PowerPoint really doesn't give you a whole lot of visual cues on what to do next with all of this stuff. In order to, it's not, in order to turn it into a video, it's not yet ready. So what you need to do is click File and then go Save As. Now when you do the Save As part, notice that it defaults to just a regular PowerPoint file. What you'll actually need to do is come down here and select Windows Media Video. All right. So now you're going to save it to Windows Media Format. Select the folder where you want to save it to and then just click Save. And then I've actually already got one in there. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to go ahead and replace that and we'll see what that looks like. Now, looks like it's done, right? Here's another tip for you. PowerPoint, again, still doesn't, isn't giving a lot of cues here, but uh, so you can bite on the fact that maybe you think it's done because you've got this little triangle, uh, you know, regular pointer, right? But in fact, it's still rendering. If you look down here towards the bottom is what you have to look at. It's actually saying creating video sample PowerPoint right now. And there's a little progress bar. So we're just going to have to wait for a little while to, uh, to have that progress bar finish. All right, so I'll see you when, we get, when it's done. OK, I'm back. So now we've completed. It, just, it doesn't say it's finished or anything like that. It just kind of, that progress bar just goes away. And that's how you know you're done. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up our uh, file folder. Okay, so here's our file folder here, and this is the PowerPoint presentation uh, that is now in video file format. So we're going to go ahead and double click that. Start the At this point, basically, you are recording uh, everything that. Uh, that's the recording, that's the video talking there. Okay, so good enough proof of concept there. So this video is done and it's ready to go to YouTube. So at this point, you can take that WMV video file format and just upload it to YouTube. But here's the deal. In the next post, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to make this video in a more web-ready file format because WMV file formats, Windows Media Video, is not really the video file format that all um, all internet viewers or any of your viewer your 
your visitors to your website might be able to view. They might not all have the plugins. So there's actually a more uh, easy file format that's more web ready and more fairly universal web ready wise. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that and then how to convert this into that format in the next blog post. But for right now, if all you're going to do is post it on YouTube, you're good to go. And what I want to show you next though is uh, for those cases where let's say you want to take your knowledge and turn it into a course and maybe you want to make it more proprietary and perhaps people will pay for your knowledge and so you want to put it behind a membership firewall in which case YouTube may not be your platform that you want to host these videos onto so in that case you'll need something more proprietary and I'll show you how to do that in, pre in the next video all right but for right now if YouTube is all you need to do you're good to go with this you can take your WMV file format and upload it to YouTube at this point all right this is Mel I will talk to you next time take care